guys so i ordered a chair for my closet room so we're gonna build it together while my boyfriend is getting ready oh. so this is what the chair is supposed to look like it's like armless oh it's so cute i'll link this below in the description if i remember but oh my goodness oh. Okay, this is like the top of the chair. Oh my god, it's so cute and big. And then, what are you? This is the seat. I think I need like a screwdriver. I don't know. We got some screws. Oh my gosh, I figured it out. Okay, so my chair is built. Did I do a good job? Yes. I did. Yes. Wait, you... Dap me up, bro. Rate me out of 10. Rate <laughs> me out of 10. Out of 10? Yeah. Uh, solid like, I'd say like an eight. Oh, it's so comfy. Ah! Oh my God, no. Don't fall. Oh. Don't fall, speed racer. It's pretty comfy. I like this. Look how it spins so smoothly. Yeah. Uh, he does all of that. He puts all the shit in the car because I get princess treatment. Uh So we're at my apartment right now. It is a disaster in here because I'm working on moving out and it's just a lot of work. And I have like a month until I need to move out. So we came here to throw everything away. And right now I'm dumping out all of the drinks in the fridge and putting the cans into trash bags because it's just too much to bring. And I don't want the trash bags to be heavy, so. It's kind of sad. So I'm not really sad to move out. Like, I feel like I'm ready for this next chapter of my life, of living with my boyfriend. Hopefully it's the last place I live. Hopefully we buy a new house together in a few years. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sad about it. I don't really get sad about these types of things, I guess. I'm honestly really happy to finally get rid of this apartment. Like, I kind of hated it since the day I moved in. Come here. I just got out of the shower and I thought let's have a little chit chat about life because I haven't updated you guys or posted on YouTube in so long. So I'm gonna do my skincare and fix this mess on top of my head and talk to you. Also, I have this heating pad. Also, I'm gonna give you a haul of what I got from the store. So I got these little clippies and then I got this for when I like slick back my hair. I got a little headband to try out. I got some more eyebrow razors. I got some Mydol. And I got the heating patch stickers. So yeah, as you can tell by the title, I no longer am powerlifter. That's the tea. I just wasn't feeling it anymore. I might like decide to do it again in a few months, but for now, it's just not for me. What? I'm not mad at any of them because I don't really care about it, but we're gonna need to be glue. They knocked it down. Uh-oh. And I only care because it's my parents, but I don't care that much because it's just... Yeah. I don't know what the fuck it is. I only kept it up because it was my parents. It looks like a piggy bank. Do yeah. you tell my vlog why I'm not a powerlifter anymore? Because I don't know how to say it. You have too much going on mentally. Or it's just too much mentally for you to kind of take. I don't know, just spill your heart out to them. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, I'm no longer a power lifter. And I am a Playboy bunny though. If you find me on Playboy, I'll put it my username right here and I'll put like a picture of my profile right here. So you can see it. You should go follow me and subscribe to me on there. I'll try to be very active. Um, I'm more active on OnlyFans, but it's just like another platform for me to make money. So 
Yeah, I'm now a Playboy model. <laughs> I'm trying to take a thumbnail right now. I have to like look sad. <laughs> but wait, let me like take this off my hair before I do a thumbnail. Cute like this, just do it like this, be like. I don't know how to do that. I don't know. I'm really bad at making sad faces. I think. Oh. I'm gonna do my hair. I'm just gonna braid it. <sighs> I just tried to record this and I wasn't even recording, but I just talked for like two or three minutes. What? I literally just told them the whole story and opened up about it and I realized I wasn't even recording. And what? Okay, so I had my first meet in December. And after that meet, I wasn't gonna do powerlifting anymore. I was like, I'm over this shit. Like, I don't fucking care. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it that much. I just don't. But then I won the meet and I qualified for nationals. And I was like, fuck it. I'll just keep doing it. Like, I'll just wait it out. And nationals is in September of this year. So I'm seven weeks out. But in back in like March of this year, I was like not feeling it anymore. I was just like, fuck this. Like, I don't want to do it. I feel like I'm strong, but I just, kitty, stop it. But I just don't want to do it. And then in May, I texted my friend who's also a power lifter. And I was like, girl, like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't know what to do. But then I decided to stick it out. I was like, nah, nationals is like a few months away. Like, I can do it. I can just make it through the summer and then go to nationals and then never think about powerlifting again. But then I've been like dreading going to the gym every day. Like, I just like don't want to do it. I like, don't want to power lift. So then I texted my coach yesterday and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. So <laughs> I just quit. I didn't really think much about it. I just texted him and said, I'm done. And then I dropped out of nationals. But, you know, I might regret it a little bit because I know I'm strong. And I could have made it really far in the sport. But if I do regret it, I can just do it again. It's not that deep. But I'm still gonna go into the gym. I just wanna like train really fucking hard and go off. I don't wanna focus on squat, bench, and deadlift. Like, I'd rather focus on certain muscle groups. Like, I really wanna start hitting legs three times a week, grow the booty. I have this like workout plan. It's like a glute plan that I wanna, I want my followers to be able to buy, but I really wanna test it out first. And so I'm gonna start following this glute plan I made and see. The results I get from it and see like what I should switch up and stuff and what I should change before like I actually let people buy it so I'm gonna do that and then I'm also I really want to like record my like workouts more for Instagram and TikTok and I just didn't like recording my powerlifting stuff and especially because like my coach was giving it to me I didn't want to like post it and show you guys the reps and sets and shit because like I was paying for that but now since I'm coming up with shit myself I can do that but yeah, that's basically why I'm not doing powerlifting anymore. Um, yeah. I mean, I saw it coming. I thought, honestly, I thought I would make it to nationals, but I just couldn't do it. So, yeah. I've been loving braiding my hair recently. I just think it looks so good in the morning. And I wake up and it's really curly. Yeah, I'm about to talk to my vlog. Are you about to do your vlog? Okay. Why? Guys, my boyfriend just uh, made me tea. Huh? Come here. But look at my nice thing. So cute. I got these little candles from Target. My crop is from Home Goods. This light is from Amazon. This is a bowl to smoke weed out of, but it's so cute. I have this little cloud. I keep my glasses on. And then I have a coaster here. And then random stuff under here, like my slippers, a little box, and some random shit. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna try to post more. Let's taste this tea though quick to see if he did a good job. It's so hot. It's so hot, I can't even get it. Huh? Did you put sugar in this? Stevia? What'd you put in it? Nothing. You wanna put stevia? But yeah, thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe and go find my Playboy and my OnlyFans and my Slushy and my Instagram. <laughs> And my Twitter, and my TikTok, TikTok and yeah. my and my YouTube. Yeah, go subscribe and follow me on everything because I'm cute. Bye.